now that my uh, assignment to stop the execution had ended in such an unsatisfactory way, I decided to go see Lynn at the Justice Minister's office. After Joe's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lynn about it? I just don't know. This time, Lynn isn't dead, but the atmosphere makes me think it might be too soon to count my blessings just yet. Oh, someone else is dead. Lynn, what have you done? Eek! The big eek. What kind of greeting is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, Anne, how did it go? Was Detective Joe still alive? He's already been executed by the time I got there. I didn't manage to save him, bud. You did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute, did you say bud? Bud. I told Lynn about my adventure at the prison. And about that other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Joad. I can't believe it. Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody is always dead. Either you or somebody else. Sorry about that. So who's that lying on the floor there? Oh, you know him, did you? That's the Justice Minister, the man who signed out the order to carry out Detective Joe's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Can you have called for help in that case? Uh, I guess so, but I'm wanted, remember, for murder. Uh, I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We, eh? Oh boy. Alright, who's dead? Justice Minister, right? Hey, can you hear me? Hmm, oh, he's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Did you rescue him now while he's unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it would be faster to see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Alright, four, four minutes. What, we're not gonna talk to him? Feels bad, man. Yeah, he's the one who's married to that, uh, rider, right? Got a daughter, bit of, uh, family troubles. What was the call he just made? He makes another call. Tell me he dies like <laughs> with stress. He overstressed himself. Oh shit. He actually did. He got a heart attack. situation. Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up. He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for the truth, the further into a dilemma we fall. The world of man is steep in contradictions. If we chose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle and water picture too, he loses both. I don't know. To me, it looks like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Or maybe I should say a pathetic man. That's the more fitting word. Uh, I don't think this guy gets it yet. That th the foolish man and pathetic man is him. 
that what they call a contradiction as <laughs> Sissel just smirks at him. By the way, what's your name? Just call me the seek a seeker of truth. Sidestepped that one, didn't he? Easy sidestep, easy parry. Alright, we have to... Uh, we gotta save the man. But how? Alright, oh, onto the phone, yeah. What's the call? Here we go. Oh, excuse me. Here we go, who's it? Forgive me for calling so lame, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Excuse me? Who is this? Emily's tutor? Did a tutor call you at this hour? No. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My daughter, is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Papa, help. I'm going to be killed. You sound the other line. What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And you, have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand. I did because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. You should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well uh, uh, to remember that. Alright. Big R. And, uh, of course, it goes without saying. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I'll trust you, you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is do your job. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so it's these guys who set it up. Go there, I'll stay here. Um, we just go there, see what happened. I don't think that's the case, though. But let's see what happens here. Race complete. Apparently the police is, uh, in this country aren't so easy fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had leaked. I'm up to the... Alright, it was just a recording. Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the major Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking the goods so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. I think not a lot could be done here, right? right. From the beginning. That's all that uh, mystery right there. No kidnapping has been done. Alright. Just... Yeah, so that means that uh, he even had to do the the execution. I wonder how they got uh, that voice line. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be killed. All right, stay here. Gotta stop this man. I'm dying. Yeah, what's the second call he made? He, he didn't do a call, right? He's probably under attack, yeah. A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why does he not understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes. Yeah, better do something about our meds. Damn Stops the minister's attack, eh? What shall we excuse for a man? He wears his important looking uniform and sits working at his daily death. He looks like he has a life midlife crisis here. Alright, miserable man. I think you've already said enough. Alright, nothing we could do here. Flap? Nothing here. We. Wait. 
Wait, he's making the call. It doesn't go through, right? Can we skip this? Alright, better, better make some movement then. Get over there. Is this something important on the? I don't think so. All right, all right. Okay, I think. Okay, maybe we wait. There must be stuff going around here. He's dying. All right, here it comes. If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? There wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet. Yeah, it's not over yet, guys. He needs to knock that ball. All right, here it comes. Wing, raise. Something, something here. All right. All right. I don't know which, what to do. We just got to do all the options. Alright, swing. Oh, no. Uh. Oh my god. Do? Oh, he's dead. Damn, I don't even know what to do. Oh, so much stuff. Yeah, before I get the meds to him, I have to buy some time first. All right. Do we go on to the other side? I don't even know. I can get to... You buy some time, how? Come on. Yeah, I know, man. Wait, he's dying already. What the fuck, dude?
Oh my god. You gonna die again? Uh, I don't know what to do. What the fuck, dude? I need to buy time beforehand. What, do I go to the other line? Maybe. Alright. In the beginning. What? How do you save? I have what? There's nothing you can do here. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, why is it so low? What the fuck? Oh my god, this guy just dies instantly, man. How do you buy time? Maybe it's the water. I don't do- No, but I have to get to the medicine, right? Yeah, I guess we rewind. I'll stick my ass to the water then, I guess. Pretty sure this flag might do it. Or we just wait. Uh, I don't know how we get to the. I don't know how we get to the. You know. Y you know. Careful, I gotta be careful here. There we go. That should help. At least now he had some water. Yeah, crisis averted for now. He's still breathing apparently, but it looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man, huh? Yeah, he can't make up his nine, whether to live or die, that's how he lives his life. Okay, at least now that I bought some time to get his medicine. Um, yeah, what now? Yeah, how do I get to the fucking place? Yo, this guy's like gonna die again. What the fuck do I do? All right. Not after fate change. What? 
Yeah, now I have to do the whole fucking beginning again. What the fuck, dude? What, is this actually from the beginning? I don't want that. Please don't be from the beginning. Alright. Alright, we've seen this, uh... Song and dance before, so... Alright. There we go. I think I fucked myself. I should have spent... I think I fucked it again. Alright. No good. No good still. Oh. Here we go. No, no, no. We got this. Nice. Alright, time to get that medicine. Have to use my head instead, yep. Alright, raise. I think this should be right. Okay, what is this? The undo here. Alright, close. Alright, what if we undo this pan? Huh. I think I fucked it up already. Yeah, alright. After fate change, after fate change. Oh, what do I do? Alright, let me turn and see what happens.
I feel like I'm missing something still. Oh no. Hold up, let's see. How does this work? Heavy to come on there. What though? Not long enough. Yep. All right. Dangerous weapons. I could use this sword somehow, but how? All right. Oh, we could rock in. Nope. Thought the rock would have been in it would knock it over, but nope. Huh? It's not tall enough though. I have no idea how this works. I don't think there's any need for knocking. Um, any need for knocking. Rocking that first one. Yep. All right, rock this. I don't think I even need. Yeah. Oh, I think it- oh no. <laughs> oh no? Alright. Roll? Swing this shit? So short. What do you guys say? The swing just had a little more reach to it. Oh, 
Alright, I got another plan. Got another plan. I don't think we even use the swords for this. Alright. Alright, we use the globe. Get the vase. Undo. Which one's first? The globe? Do we do the globe first? Oh, the vase. Mmm, fuck. I don't know, man. I'll just save it. <laughs> Alright, save it. Alright, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do the vase first. No. I'm doing the globe. Alright. Shirley, please. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, now this should... Nice. Well, he's down, gonna kill himself from an overdose. I took his medicine. I think maybe he even took too much. Such a greedy man. Alright, yeah. He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why does he know that? Alright, cut the guy some slack there, see? Well, he sounds like the chicken kitchen guy. Alright, that was a lot of work. Yeah, it taught him a lesson, huh? Alright, I don't like- I don't like this shtick. When Cecil's only response is her. He's just like so baffled that he doesn't know. Oh, I know yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is to your own advice. Anyway, back to the world of, pre of the present. That was it. That was the, that was the section right there. Alright, what's happened? He's back to life, but the foes on his brown are even deeper now. And apparently our lady detective is the present cause of those pharaohs. Look, detective, he was sentenced after a fair trial and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence, all they had was his own confession. There was no ordinary confession, it was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back. Told you, I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that the case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time then. Police. Alright. You just escaped, yeah. I was dodging. Alright. Sense will be carried out tonight. Well, they can't use the electric chair anymore. But when you hand. Uh, when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. Why did you sign the order all of a sudden? 
Well, I, I was simply performing my duties just this minister. That's all there is to it. Nope. Go. He's got worries. Well, how do I even reach there? Uh, there I am. Sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's why he is. Maybe we should say shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the uh, has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has very good reason for it. A good reason. Yep. I told Lin what I heard about the kidnapping, but it's not actually a kidnapping. The kidnap just this minister's daughter apparently. We went there and it was just a recording. But still. Still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't we go ahead and say that uh, to the Justice Minister then? Uh, the poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. Do you think you could carry me? Oh, sure. Not very handy, isn't it? Having no legs. Wait, what she's holding? Sword? Oh, damn. We got a dangerous weapon there. Alright. The sword, the, sword, <laughs> the sword and globe combo is heavy. I'm here in here too, don't forget. I guess that means the single sword is heavier than the whole world. May I use this thing to persuade the minister to change his mind? Good luck with that. Alright, take me there. What are you gonna do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this, uh, <laughs> pay no attention to this. It's kinda hard not to pay attention to it. Well, by the way, uh, and please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you talking to somebody just now? Of course not, right? Uh, I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? You're talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Do you remember me? My dream is talking to me. Huh, so now I'm a dream, eh? Right. So I, I could convey my words here, Mr. Minister. We know, we know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? Oh, you know that. And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. But I went there. There was nobody. Alright, he's... Oh! Medicine. Alright, yeah. Alright, Lynn saving. Saving the day there. Oh, what am I gonna do? Death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Emily. But what if that execution isn't the right thing to do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Lin. If you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? Alright, let me get inside this, this fucker's head. Come here. <laughs> we meet again, Mr. Minister. What? I've never seen you before. In any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. Oh, I'm not a dream. Alright, looks like I just wasted just a waste of time trying to tell this guy. I think you're right, it's still injustice, Minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. Yeah. What was it, then? Do you think there's something fishy about this kidnapping thing? Fishy? I mean, the man is to carry out an execution that was already set to be carried out. Just like the Minister said, there's no need for such a kidnapping. Yeah, you might be right. Are talking to somebody again? No, no, no. There's no such thing. No such thing. I'm a realist. I'll never believe in them. Not in the existence of ghosts, and not in this escape from prison, and not in this kidnapping. No, this realist is running away from several very real facts. Yeah, high speed too. Anyway, let me try and find out more about this kidnapping. After all, I know where the kidnappers are. Alright, you have their telephone number. I think I'll go see what these kidnappers look like. Now I'm taking a, a direct call. Yeah, we'll see the thing, right? Oh. This one. Here we go, here we go. I mean, it's a good time to save, but I'm waiting till the, till the save pack comes. Alright, I really should pay the kidnappers hideout a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. I'm not the kind of guy who could invite a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. I think this is the save, right here. Alright, let's save. Alright, we're calling it off then.
Another session done, a few chapters done and dusted. I don't know how many chapters there are. Maybe I should look that up. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it as a, <laughs> a surprise. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're getting closer. Hope I can finish this off um, this week. There's a few games coming out soon for uh, Resident Evil 3, but... Anyways, let's call it off. Hope you guys enjoyed this session of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll catch you guys later.